Hey everybody, how you doing? This is episode 95 of Dan's Expert Tips for authors, publishers, and speakers who want to make some money. I'm Dan Blanchard, the best-selling and award-winning author, speaker, and educator, as well as the Connecticut president of the Association of Publishers for Special Sales and the host of Mandalia TV. Today I want to talk to you about improving your book listing. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. You got a book that hasn't been selling lately and it kind of died off, not doing all, all that good, okay? So this is the fact, is that your book can be saved. Your book can be turned around. We can breathe new life into your book and your book sales, which is a good thing, okay? So here, this is what you do, all right? You change your book cover. Yep, even if you love that book cover, you change your book cover, and then what's gonna happen is people are gonna look at that book cover out there and they're gonna be like, whoa, is that, is that a new book? And they're gonna you know, give you a second look, all right? So change your book cover, all right? And listen, your, your, your cover, your book cover, is what determines on whether or not people click, all right? And that's true. And your book cover, even when it's really small, People gotta be able to see what's going on. They gotta be able to see your name, the, na the title of the book, you know, the picture, and, and they gotta know what's going on with the book so that they can click. If they don't know what's going on with the book, when they look at that little teeny picture, they're not gonna click, all right? So new book cover, but make sure that that new book cover has a little teeny picture that uh, they, they can figure out what's going on so they can click, all right? All right, uh, next thing, um, uh, add formats, all right? Add formats, so if you got just a uh, ebook, Get, in, get a uh, paperback book. All right, it's not that hard. All right, put it in a paperback book form. Uh, uh, go audio book, right? Go on uh, ACX and uh, do a 50-50 share with somebody and get the audio book, okay? Add a workbook. If it's a type of book that maybe schools can use or people use for some kind of like self-improvement, you can add a workbook, all right? That would help you a lot. I'm working on a workbook right now for my book, The Storm, all right? All right, another thing you could do to get uh, to breathe some life back into uh, your book and improve your uh, your book listing is to change the book description. People are gonna look at that and be like, "Wow, is this like a new book?" All right, which is kind of cool, gives you another, like a, you know another chance. All right, remember the book description; it's copywriting. It's not just describing your book; it's copywriting. You got to be like fulfilling people's needs with the copywriting. All right, and you should probably do this at least twice a year. Change the book description of your book. All right, some some people do it three or four times a year, but I'd say do it at least twice a year to breathe new life back into your book and to improve your book list. Okay, another thing you do is get more Amazon book reviews. <clears throat> Amazon's algorithm, you know, takes into account how many book reviews you have and how old they are. If you haven't had any new book reviews in a while, that's a problem. According to Amazon's algorithm, then they're not going to promote you. So get some new book reviews, all right? And if you don't have your Amazon Author Central page, get it. Get on there, create an Amazon Author Central page. And if you do have it, beef it up. All right, put like your your blog on it, social media on it, articles on it, videos on it, right? Do all sorts of stuff to beef up that Amazon Author Central thing. And when you're there, combine the different formats and editions of your book, all right? So if you got like a handful of book reviews for your paperback, a handbook, a handful of book reviews for your, uh, I say your Kindle, second, well, combine them. So now you got, you know, the, you got more book reviews for all of them, right? Uh, just, you just gotta um, send them an email and they'll combine them for you, okay? So, um, uh, let me see what else. Oh, change, change your um, Amazon categories. Yes, change your Amazon category is probably something you need to do a couple times a year, right? This is going to give you a fresh start with Amazon. New people will see your book, and they'll be like, oh, what's this, right? And so it's a new book, and they're going to click on it. So that's what you want. You want new people seeing your book. So change your Amazon categories, right? And then if you do well, who knows? Maybe you can become a bestseller in like, you know, whatever, three, four, five categories instead of like one category or two categories, all right? I mean, people love that stuff, so change your book um, Amazon categories, all right? All right, anyways, um, I hope this episode 95 of Improving Your Book Listing was helpful. I'll be back real soon with episode 96. But in the meantime, be sure to check me out on danblanchard.net or granddaddysecrets.com, and I'll catch up with you real soon. Take care now.